Today, Precarious plays Mega Race. This is like the weirdest setup we've had to do, I think. That's a weird game. Yeah. Why are you showing me this? <laughs> because it's so strange. I, we've had several conversations about games we played in our childhoods. And so because you're playing, um, Star Wars Episode One Racer. Yes. Star Wars Episode One Racer. I realized that I also had a racing game that I played. And it was so hilariously bad and weird that I needed to show it to you. This came like for free with the first computer my family got. And so I played it when I was little. I'm noticing some pretty bad screen tearing. Is that typical? Or is that... No, it's not typical, but I feel like it only enhances the experience <laughs> of how weird this is. Like, look at this guy. Oh. Hello, man. Is this important? Should we be... It's not really important. I just wanted you to see this guy because even though this... Uh, so we printed out the manual because I don't remember how how this game plays at all. But I played it a lot when I was little. But I wanted to see... I wanted you to see this guy because this is the most 80s thing that I can think of. And this game was released in 94. <laughs> so, like... When people say 80s stuff, this dude is what comes to mind, and his purple tie with his pink shirt with his blue jacket talking about virtual reality. Like, how many times does he say virtual in his little opening spiel? And, like, this was, like, cutting-edge computer graphics, and it's so weird. So, he's telling the whole story right now, but the short story is that you are, like, fake uh, military police that drives cars and shoots other cars that are supposedly criminals, but it's, like, that's not really important. But, no, that's not... It's a racing game. No, I mean, it's... It's real murder. It's murder. You're doing a murder. But only virtually, which he says 50,000 times. But no, that's a falsehood. That's... I think that they're telling you it's virtual, but I think you're actually... I think that you're remotely controlling a physical car that's murdering people. In the fiction of the... In the fiction of the game. Yeah. I think the thing that I love about this weird opening is how many times it like pans out to a living room and pans out to like the producer station mm -hmm. just to just to contextualize this positively strange idea of a virtual space that you could occupy and and work in all right he's going on forever and ever hi there tiger Creepy. Oh, anyway, <laughs> um, but maybe we can skip the rest of this, but I just wanted you to see this guy. Are you stunned? You're pretty quiet. This is a lot to take in. I, so, uh, almost all of my experience with, like, 90s computer gaming mm -hmm. Avoided FMV games. Yeah. I have very little exposure to FMV games. So seeing this sort of like reverse Roger Rabbit yeah. <laughs> situation where you have max headroom here. Yeah. Uh, in what is otherwise a digital environment is very uncanny. Can you do me a favor, and this is bothering me, can you look over on the other computer and see if the tearing is is as bad over there on the capture as it is on the TV? It doesn't look as bad on the capture. 
What happens when you find the captures on that monitor, right? Yeah, far left monitor. It looks okay. Okay, let's... I mean, this was never going to be beautiful. <laughs> that's not why we're here. I wanted to show you the. <laughs> this feels like a ridiculous amount of technology to uh to stream uh mega race. Yeah, in the, well, the year of our Lord, 2020. It just thought it would be funny. And I don't know how many episodes we're actually going to get out of this. This is, um... Yeah, this is... All of these contextualizations... Like, he keeps going. Uh-huh. I used to skip all of this when I played. Okay, if you if you want to skip it, I think we it, can skip it because I want to see if I can even play at all. I don't. I like we really did. Like we downloaded the manual so that we could figure it out, and it's it doesn't even have a list for like gamepad controls. Mm -hmm. It's just joystick, mouse, and keyboard. That's I just, it. I just don't know how much we're going to be able to talk once the game actually starts. Well, and this is what the game looks like, pretty much. You just run in through these. When did, when did Star Wars Episode One Racer come out? Uh, well... Several years uh, after this, I think, if you were playing this in 96. Mm -hmm. Give me a second and I'll... Do a Google and find out. Okay, now this oh, is where done. <laughs> this is where the game actually starts, right? Yeah, uh, yes. This is you pick your cars soon. I think. Where are the cars? Oh, there are the cars. Okay, I moved the the uh the left Control stick because the thing is we have to figure out where the, all the controls got mapped to mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we have three cars to start with. Um, and it looks like the left control stick does everything. What is the Oh, wow. Do? Actually, it was quite a bit later than I, I thought. What? Uh, 1999. Okay, so... They're separated by five years. Which yeah. Which at the time period was... Not nothing. I mean, that's yeah. pretty substantial. So let's see. I'm gonna game controls, car selection. Hold on, you can't just drive any car you want. <laughs> you gotta prove yourself on the road before you get to drive the hot stuff. I for like starters, the green one. For starters, you can choose from three cars, but chill out. When you beat each gang leader, you win his car and add that to your selection. Hey, uh, I really okay. Did you, Lance to interrupted me because I was taking too long to pick a car. To choose your Mega Race Enforcement Vehicle, either move the joystick or press the cursor keys until the required car is highlighted. Pressing the space bar will it provide you with details of exactly how tough this baby can be. Uh, I, I think, think I pressed the space bar, which is X. Okay, that's, that's fine. It's green. I, this is the real reason why I would play this game. <laughs> Luis. Lu because of these cars. I thought Multi that it was so cool that they were three dimensional. Shield, laser, no missiles. Okay. That no seems missiles. Fine. Uh, press return or the joystick fire button or any mouse button to climb into your mega race enforcement vehicle. All right. I'm going to assume that the fire button is on one of the triggers. Oh, this is it. I think oh. it went into like demo mode. That I now can't get out of. Press button to start. Press A. Try uh, well, X. X is not doing. Try anything. just roll over all the face buttons one at a time. One, two, three, four, five. What about start? No. Uh, the triggers. Triggers. No bumpers. No. I got nothing. It's just gone on. Display mode. That's uh, dang it! Oh, you picked a. This game runs on DOS box. What were we thinking? <laughs> it's just so weird. I had to share it with you, but I would okay. like to actually play it. Maybe we need to pause and check how to get. No, you know what? 
place. I feel like enough has happened that this can just be the first episode of this weird, <laughs> weird experience. Uh, and we'll figure out how to keep it from going into demo mode. I guess we, I mean, the control was working. Yeah, right? it was working. I just didn't pick a car fast enough. So the game just got impatient. Cool. It, yeah. Thanks, game. It is a racing game. <laughs> I would not describe this as a... I think it is a third-person shooter that has a car aesthetic. Is there anything else you want to talk about before we knuckle down and actually try to play this in a minute? Wait, no, no, no. It worked. Okay, so it just it just looped all the way back to the to the demo? Yes. Or through the... And now the controls are working again, I think. Why does it have two selected? Is it a weird screen tearing problem? Maybe. Okay. All right, we'll start a new episode to actually play this monstrosity. Okay. Oh. How do I select the car? Oh, I got it. 